Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here, returning to you for the first episode for the season premiere of Tuesday Album Reviews that I'm returning to you for, for season 6, episode 1, for the premiere episode for this new season. So hopefully you'll enjoy this season, because it's going to last all the way to October 29th, and then there'll be a recap on the 12th of November, so this is for Breaking Benjamin's Dear Agony uh, record. I did originally have it on CD for a time, but unfortunately due to certain circumstances, I had to sell m pretty much all my CDs because money issues at the time. But other than that, I'm going to discuss what I listened to for... Uh, Breaking Benjamin's Dear Agony, their fourth studio album in their discography, and let you know my thoughts on this album, this 2009 album overall. So let's dive into this album review. Now basically it starts with Fade Away, which is honestly their best track to open this record. Um, ben Burnley sounds really good vocally in this track, and just overall the execution of the drum work, the guitar work. Sounding pretty awesome. So I'm really digging this track. So this is a 5 out of 5. I will not bow. It's unfortunate that the movie that was... This was the theme song to a Bruce Willis movie for a time. Um, but now they cut that out apparently. Just because the music video just shows the band. Instead of cut scenes for like the movie that you see or whatever, I don't know, it was probably a copyright thing or something, but basically it just, years later it didn't, I don't know, they just cut it out or something, I was a little bummed about that, but hey, it's fine, still, uh, I Will Not Bow is a great track, really like this song, um, really liked how Ben Burnley raises his vocals most of the time in this track, and it sounds really amazing of a song, so 5 out of 5. Crawl is a pretty good song. Ben Burnley's screams are pretty outstanding in this one, and just overall, the execution of this track was pretty awesome. Um, so, one of my, one of the personal favorite tracks, uh, that we're gonna get into in just a moment is give me a sign but still crawl is a great track um and i'd give it a five out of five it's such an outstanding breaking benjamin song but still the best of the best for this record come later on during the record so pretty much give me a sign is one of my personal favorites i love the longer version a lot better uh, than the original for the music video version. The music video version cuts out the longer version part, but the longer version is the best part of that record. The album version is great. For 4 minutes and 18 seconds, you're in for an entertaining closer to the track Give Me a Sign when Ben Burnley's really raising his vocals and it's really sounding very good. And just the melody is so haunting and ominous that it sounds beautifully written and beautifully made. So this was a great track, and I'd give it a 5 out of 5. Hopeless was pretty good in its own way. Not a song I'd really come back to a lot, but I still enjoyed it for what it was. So 4.75 out of 5. It's still a pretty good song, and it does rock out for what it goes for. What Lies Beneath is uh, another one of my favorites. Um, I really like this track with the lyrical writing for this song. And just um, Ben Burnley sounds very vulnerable in this track with his vocals and the chorus. And just how this track is presenting itself is the best thing about it. Like it tells it like it is. It just says about this person that's basically uh, 
smiling in a sick, twisted way or whatever, and uh, he caught this person in a lie. I think it's a relationship kind of thing, but still. Other than that, great track, and I recommend this song. 5 out of 5. Anthem of the Angels was a pretty sad, emotional track that really got me uh, to my vulnerability, really got the vulnerable side of me with how I was feeling for the track, and I really enjoyed that aspect about the song. It was still a great track, and recommend this song for anyone that's going through any kind of grief or whatever, so it presents grief in a way, this song, so pretty much 5 out of 5, Lights Out is a pretty good song in its own way, I didn't really hate this track, but I found a few critiques that I don't know if I like, but other than that, strong track for what it goes for, 4.75 out of 5, excuse my yawning, I'm gonna be going to bed in a few minutes. Dear Agony is a pretty strong track. I really like this song. It's the title track for the what the album name is, Dear Agony. The title track is really good. And I really enjoyed Ben Burnley's vocals in this track. Sounds really good. The drumming and guitar work is pretty amazing. And overall melody structure is pretty outstanding. 5 out of 5. Into the Nothing was a pretty strong track. Really enjoyed this one. Um, I'd give it a 5 out of 5 too. It was quite an amazing song and I was really amazed with how well done they did with this track. Drumming wise it's pretty good and guitar wise it's really amazing and Ben Burnley's vocals are still catching my attention in a good way. So pretty much 5 out of 5 for Into the Nothing. Please forgive my yawning. Gonna be going to bed in a few minutes after this review. So pretty much the closing track Without You closes out this record and it is the best closing track for this record. It starts off great and it's pretty epic for sure. So pretty much Without You is about uh, some someone he's relying on that he can't face the dark without them and he wants to forgive them and just fight the darkness back that he's having to cope with so it's a battle of wins in a way for light and dark that he's dealing with his certain demons or something so basically with what I listened to with this track I was really amazed with the lyrical content and overall the melody structure is quite outstanding and this song has nice violin work at the end of the track and I really like that about the song but overall Ben Burnley sounds very good in this track vocally and off the bat it's one of my personal favorite closing tracks for a record so 5 out of 5 overall production mixing and execution wise I found myself really enjoying Dear Agony for sure this was probably one of the best Breaking Benjamin albums that I've listened to, aside from Ember being pretty strong, but we'll get to that album later, um, at a later time in this Tuesday album review season. But overall, Dear Agony is a great, uh, album for sure. It's a shame that after this record they took a six year hiatus. Uh, until Dark Before Dawn came out in 2015. But off the bat, uh, it's a great record. It's a shame three of the members actually left the... Or that were the original members left the band. And then they, and then they took a hiatus because of that. And some health issues Ben Burnley was struggling with. So uh, it was unspecified what he was trying to reveal. But that's fine. That's his personal business. But off the bat, if I were to give this record a score, I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. Great album. Definitely recommend you check Breaking Benjamin's Dear Agony album out. The best fourth studio album that I've listened to in their discography. And I had some emotional points through this record. And 
a lot of vulnerability in Ben Burnley's vocals through majority of these tracks. And I really like the soundscape that I was getting from this record. It was thrilling, emotional, ominous, and dark. And that was the main purpose of this record, was to make you feel something about it. And make you feel the loss, the grief, the pain, the struggles with mental health in a way, and all that stuff. So, this is a great record to really help someone who's going through grief, loss, pain, and sadness, and all that. And it's a good album to cope with those feelings and try to... Listen through the whole record for 41 and a half minutes, and it's such a great record. So, with that being said, 9.5 out of 10 for Breaking Benjamin, Dear Agony, for this Tuesday album review, Season 6, Episode 1. Hopefully you enjoyed this video tonight, and thanks for watching.